hey loves welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome so in today's video i'm going to show it's just the same video like the previous one where i had shown you guys how you can make your own with Trina. but i wanted to try it on a different person just to see if i'll see any changes or any difference and also i wanted her opinion i will link her youtube and instagram in the description box down below so you can go follow her so and also i will link the previous video on how i made the waist trainer in the description box down below so you can go watch it So what I did, this is the band I'm going to use. I've actually introduced this band to you. I got it from a local store here in my country. But then you can get it on Amazon, Aliexpress. So what I did, I tried to wrap this band around her tummy. But then I realized I was pulling it too much and making it super tight. So I did this, but then I later on unwrapped it because she was saying it was not breathable because it was too tight. I can I kind of was pulling it too much. So it was too tight so after i was done she said it was too tight now i had to let her do it herself because she knows where it's tighter i just let her wrap it around her tummy and she was comfortable with it like that So that is how it looks on her tummy and you can see it is actually tucking everything in. So and just make sure when you're wrapping it around your tummy, just make sure the, the bands are overlapping. I marked where I was going to sew my my velcro. If you if you watched the previous video, you know what I'm talking about. If you watched it, actually it's just the same the same same process. But now I wanted to to do it on a different person. You're going to sew this velcro on the band where you marked earlier. And you'll have something like this. So this is just the velcro is just to secure the band and keep it in place so that it doesn't open. And then if the tummy is big, you'll have to use maybe two or three velcros or just a bigger velcro. But for mine I used only one. And then I was just trying to measure the length, or the length of the band that I used, and I used 70, 70 inches. That it was 60 plus 10. That is 70 inches, and my model used 100. Actually, it was 99. It was 60 plus 39. She used 99. This is her tummy before, like, before wearing any corset, before wearing any new waist trainer, high waisted panties. This is just her tummy. If you watch that video where I, show, I had shown you guys on how you can hide the fat under the bra, I actually advised you to wear a big band bra. But for her, I actually forgot to tell her to wear that. And that's why you might see some fat under the bra in this video. So actually, this is her tummy before. But then I actually realized with her tummy, it is not that, okay, it is, okay, okay it's big. But then her tummy is the one that can be controlled if you just work out or wear corset for some time. Her tummy is the kind of tummy that can reduce easily. This is after she had wrapped the band around her tummy, but then she told me she actually didn't want the fupa area to be so tight, and then also the around the under the bus she didn't want it to be so tight. She just wanted the middle part to be to be tight and tuck everything in. But then uh, because of that, I could still see some fupa. But I really wanted her to make like the the entire bands tight as in from the abdominal area to the under the bath line but she said it was comfortable when it was not tight on the fupa and under the bath line so she preferred it tighter around just around the between the bath line and the abdominal area. We'll go through the wastelands through the highways and If you wear 
something that is tight a bra that is it is tighter or it has a very slim band you will definitely have the fat under the bra but i was so impressed because her tie after she wrapped the band around her tummy the tummy was kind of slimmer and different form how it was when she doesn't have the band on. As for guys, you can see how snatched her tummy is. I actually didn't want her to do what I wanted her to do. I wanted her to do what she was comfortable with. And she was comfortable with it like this because she said it was breathable compared to corsets. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on, we'll go. So another reason why she said she loved the band method is also because sometimes the corsets kind of fold at the back especially now that she has a very tiny waist and she would prefer the band method because it kind of favors her when it comes to the back. So she also preferred the band method because of that. Because when she wears like multicolored dresses with this, I mean plain colored dresses with this uh, corset, it kind of shows. The, the the corset shows like when the corset falls it shows So this is the corset in the dress and it's you can't see it of course because the dress is multicolored and I will tell you when you wear corsets or any shape wear in a dress and it's multicolored it won't show but then at the back it was folding even like on the sides you can see it is kind of folded so she actually preferred the back method. so i guess i don't know if you can see it but yeah it is kind of folded at the back i see the light inside you brighter than the skies just let us escape and fly away. This is with the band. And just guys, just comment below if you see any difference and also your opinion on this. So, this is how it looks in this outfit. And according to her, she said it was breathable. And right here, she had actually wrapped it like from the Fupa area to under the bath line, and that is why you can't see so much Fupa. She had actually she had not wrapped like the way she had wrapped in the first outfit. She had wrapped the entire tummy. And you can see actually the fupa is reduced. It's not like in the first outfit. So guys, I uh, wouldn't advise you to wrap the same way she had wrapped in the first outfit because it may create permanent fupa. Unless unless maybe if it's postpartum but because if you watched um the previous video my grandma was showing us how you can shrink your tummy after delivery uh, okay like in that video she said you're just supposed to make the middle part of your tummy tighter and then the fupa should be loose and then uh, under the bust line should be also loose so unless it, unless if it's for postpartum because wrapping it like that can be so good for postpartum you know because it will help in shrinking out the uterus it will help in you know cramping but then if you're doing that because you want to reduce your tummy i don't think it will help so much you might even end up having a foop i would advise to just wrap the entire tummy but then don't make it too tight if you're not comfortable if you think it's not breathable just make it looser but then wrap the entire tummy I just want your honest uh, opinion in the comment section what you think about it what you've noticed if you've seen any changes and or what you should do just comment below and also co remember to follow us on facebook remember to follow us on instagram i'll put um, her instagram link in the description box down below so you can go follow her and also subscribe to her channel so that was it guys if you learned something from this video remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you in my next video guys bye I'll be by your side.